Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and this is a gnome assembly video. So I'm going to be putting together Jada Blossom's brand new gnome dyes pot of gold add-ons. And you're going to want the gnome dyes or the girl gnome dyes and possibly the gnome dyes St. Patrick's Day add-ons, right? So much fun. Okay, so first of all, I cut out this cauldron, um, or pot of gold, sorry, cauldron, I'm thinking of Harry Potter, um, out of American Crafts black cardstock first. And I'm going to apply some art glitter glue and then I'm, I cut the actual pot of gold out of Simon Says Stamp um, glossy black cardstock. There we go, weighting it down. And then I cut the gold part out of American Crafts Christmas foil, um, just the gold foil cardstock. Isn't that pretty? It's just so pretty. You could leave it like this, right? It looks fine like this. But there's a few more little add-ons here. So um, it has the little um, handles and the little feet that I cut out of American Crafts gray cardstock. And I'm just using my Studio Catchy embellishment wand to pick those up, um, along with the art glitter glue again as well. So there you have it. And like I said, this is fine too, just as it is, right? But there's always more details with Jada Blossom dyes if you want. So now I'm going to add on a highlight uh, that I cut at a white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It just adds the perfect little highlight. And now I'm going to pop up some of these little individual pieces of gold. You could do whatever you want with these little pieces of gold. You can even make like a, you know, use this gold on the bottom of a card. Some One of our design team members did that. It looked fabulous. But, you know, I'm just sort of adding some dimension with um, scrapbook adhesives, adding a few little pops of dimension. Isn't that cute? And then you can pop your little gnome behind it. Isn't that sweet? Just so sweet. Okay, so next I'm going to put together um, the flag of Ireland. I cut that out of white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink and American Crafts black cardstock. And then I'm going to add on um, sort of like an orangey red um, and a green um, from Concord and Ninth, like it's a dark green. So I put the white stripe in the middle, that's Paper Tray Ink white cardstock, and then I'll do that orangey red on one side, the green on the other, right? And then I have little hands cut out of P13 stamping pad skin tones. And I'm going to pop those up with Stampin' Up Dimensionals, just the miniature ones. And then you'll have a nice little Irish flag for your little gnome to hold. Isn't that sweet? Just the cutest little thing. And then there she is holding it. Now I'm going to make a little shamrock balloon. So I cut that out of Doodlebug's um, Lots of Luck 6-inch pad. And then I cut it out of um, paper or American Crafts black cardstock for the shadow and then American Crafts gray cardstock for the little string. And there we go. I'll add the little balloon and the string to this. Now this just allows you, this little shadow allows you to have a spot to put the little hand so you can pop everything up. I find it really convenient. And then I will add the little hand from that same P13 stamping pad. So isn't that sweet? And there's my little girl, girl gnome. And look at, she's holding... A little shamrock balloon, so cute. Okay, and then there are, you could have left it like that, but there are nice little highlights that you can cut out. And I cut those out of white paper tray and cardstock, and I'm just going to add those on, you know, to add a little bit of highlights. Now you could use a white jelly roll pen to add some highlights if you want, but I, this was really fun. Of course, I had a hard time grabbing this little piece, so I sort of farted around here. That's what a Studio Catty embellishment wand is for, man, is to pick up all these little tiny pieces. There we go. I did end up using my reverse tweezers, but isn't that sweet? And there she is holding one. Now I'm going to put together the little gold coin. This is simple. So American Crafts black cardstock, American Crafts Christmas foil in the gold. Popping up the little hands with Stampin' Up Dimensionals and P13 stamping pad. Skin tones. There we go. I've said before, I know you can't get that anymore, but you know, you can color white cardstock with a skin tone marker. That also works. And then these are some, this is Concord and Knight's dark green cardstock. I can't remember what it's called, if it's evergreen or something like that. Something like that. Anyways, um, I will pop that up. So I glued down the back and then I popped up the front just for a little dimension. And then there she is holding her little gold coin. Okay, now I'm going to put together the beer. So I cut it out of American Crafts black cardstock first. Then I pop on... 
um, the white layer, that's um, paper tray and white cardstock. And then I'm going to add the white beer. Remember, you don't have to use the layer with the hands and you could just use these items on a card as they are, right? So now I'm adding on the mug. There we go. And then I'm taking a BG, I think that's BG 10, and I'm just going to flick in from the sides just to make it look like a glass. You know, sometimes I use vellum while creating these cards, but this time I just used a marker. And then I'm going to add this dark green for the dark green beer on the inside of the mug. Isn't that cute? Using art glitter glue, and that's Concord and Knight's dark green cardstock. And then I will pop up the foam. That's Paper Trank white cardstock with scrapbook adhesives um, for the foam squares. And there we go, pop that up. Isn't that sweet? Look at that little, little uh, pint of beer. And then I will add on the little hands as well. And then Bob's your uncle, you have a cute little beer. Isn't that sweet? I think that'd be fun for a Father's Day card too, that little embellishment. Okay, so now I'm just going to put together the little shoes. I cut the little buckles out of that American Crafts Christmas foil as again. And then the little shoes are cut out of that same Simon Says Stamp um, black glossy cardstock. I love that stuff, it just looks great. And now um, you can add on, I'm just using some stick tack to sort of give you the idea of what these will look like. Isn't that cute? Look at that, you can put them like that. You can have them underneath standing. You can do all sorts of things with them. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jadal Blossom blog and get your hand, or to be inspired. The Jadal Blossom store to get your hands on all of these amazing products. They are awesome. And um, you know, if you like to collect these gnomes like everybody else does, it seems you're going to want to get these ones. They are so darn cute. So thank you as always for stopping and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I hope these assembly videos help you out when you're putting together your gnomes, just so you know what all the little, those little pieces are for. Thanks, and we will see you soon in my next video. Bye, everyone.